Going for the gold in the last hour of the morning show, we learned what it takes to make it to the international stage in swimming. Yeah, one thing that I learned is how big of a role your suit plays. I wish that I had a suit that was a little tighter, a little more hydrodynamic. But guess who did get to try it out and had all the fun with it? Was it fun, uh. Lena? <laughs> we got it done. We got it done. <laughs> Good morning, Vic and Lauren. So it all comes down to the technology and compression of the suits. So they have bonded seams to reduce drag in the water and are made of water repelling materials. Some even replicate shark skins with tiny overlapping scales that help them glide through the water. But it's all about the right compression. There are different types of suits for different strokes. The point is to keep muscles in the right positions. And I learned in an interesting bit difficult way that the compression is indeed real. For some Olympic swimmers, getting into the suit may be harder than actually competing in the event. Well, I'm going to give it a try by trying to fit into this Speedo. Let's see if we can get all these buns in this. Stay tuned. Woo! Okay, so we're gonna start off with the right leg. Okay, I'm gonna show you how far I've gotten so far. We're here. Can't really get it over my knees. But I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna try again to get the rest of it over my thighs and my legs and the rest of my body, okay? Okay, I got my right thigh. Right thigh. We're in there like swimwear. Ooh. Okay, hold on, right. I gotta take a break and breathe. Okay, I'm back in, I'm back in, I'm back in. Through much effort and time, I'm in here. I cannot breathe. This is very tight. Oh, cute, Lena. Wait, let me see. Wait. Oh, did I pull, did I pull oh, my skin? A little bit. I think I did. It's a little tight. Oh, that's tight. It's a little tight. Good luck, girlfriend. Good luck. <laughs> and the swim cap is tight, too. How do these swimmers do it? <laughs> All right, coming to an Olympic sized pool near you. Sign me up. I could be on the next, what is it, 2024 20, Olympic Games. Yeah. All right, um, oh, time to the start other, the work day for as long as I can breathe. <laughs> So we went off the size recommendations on Speedo's website, but it is important to know that most professional swimmers go even smaller by at least two to three sizes. So I was already down one size smaller than what I normally would do. They even have to sometimes help each other take the straps on and off. The goal is to make it feel like a second skin and once again control those muscles. So. I was happier. Um, it was nice to get it on, but it was even better to get it off. Um, I will say the tightest part was really around my legs. I had those little, uh, you know, the lines from this. And then it's just your ribs. And I also just came off a vacation and a couple of weeks of heavy eating. So um, it just wasn't that ideal. But under probably normal circumstances, it might have been a little easier to get in. Did you feel aerodynamic? Um, no, I just felt stuck. Like, that's it. Like, it was. You know, why are you walking like that? Because I could not move any faster. <laughs> it was that very uncomfortable. Funny. So, shout out to the Olympians that get in them that are even like three times smaller than what they normally wear. It just, the best part of that day was getting this off. Are we so. taking a look that uh, Jason Mealy, our producer right there, <laughs> did not even make eye contact with you? He That's was like, yeah. nope. He was like, nope, nope, so not acknowledging this. Here. It, was, uh, it was tight. It was good. It was a good time. I'm glad I didn't have to get cut out of it. You know, some people um, have to get cut out of them because they are so small. And once you're done with the competition, it's literally on your skin. So it worked out. You know, we made it All work. Right. They we actually really get cut out of it. Yeah. You know, we watched some other videos, too, of some other people trying these on, too. If we probably would have done mm, two sizes smaller, well, A, we did two sizes smaller. It wasn't going to go over my kneecaps, so we made it work. We tried. <laughs> we got them in there. We got the buns in there. That was the goal, you know? That was the goal. So are you keeping that? Oh, no, no, no. We're going to, I'm going to give it back to whoever wants it because I don't have no need for this. This is not, this is not the bathing suit I'm going to use anywhere, okay, ever again. What about this one cap? <laughs> 
Oh, no, I don't need no slim cap, girl. Look at this. I don't got no hair. I mean, I'm just, I'm already <laughs> aerodynamic. You know what I'm He's saying? You got it. I was imagining me trying to put my hair in oh. that swim cap. It would not have fit. Mm -mm. I was a swimmer for one whole day, and I got swimmer's ear, and I was like, uh-uh. Yeah. I went to one swim practice. Yeah, so see, my natural swim cap is just no hair. You're naturally so. yeah. aerodynamic. There we go. Hydrodynamic. You know? Hydrodynamic. You, yeah. We're going to play a, a game I with how that many times you school. have said hydrodynamic. Hydrodynamic. Apparently okay. I didn't say it enough. In two, the past two hours, I think he said it ten times. Well, yes. She's well, still this calling will it aerodynamic. Hydrodynamic. Because it's him water. Me. It's water. Give him the swimsuit. It's now yours, Vic. Yeah, you can try it on next. I just may. <laughs> Watch the morning show tomorrow. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. No one would watch that. No one would want to see that. <laughs> Lena, you're fun. Thank you so much. We enjoyed the, the hoots and the hollers. I don't know where I was when you did that newsroom stunt. Lauren and I were not there. We, we weren't there. I, I would not have ignored you. I, I can promise you that. <laughs> I would not have done a Jason Mealy where I, I think just... think everybody was just trying to keep it normal. Nobody knew what to do. They're like, don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> if you pretend she's not there, then it's fine. Just keep going. <laughs>